The Flinders Ranges are developed on folded sedimentary rock upthrust over millions of years. Weathering and erosion sculpture the rock into features that are recognised today. Quartzite forms the backbone of many of the ranges, including the walls of Woolpena Pound and the Gammon, Hyson, Chase, Elder and ABC ranges. The spectacular Bunyaroo, Bratchena and Parachilna Gorges have been carved through the ranges by flooded creeks flowing towards Lake Torrens. There is a range of minerals found in the Flinders, including coal at Lee Creek, copper and uranium. Copper was found in several places throughout the Flinders, but few mines lasted and only the ruins remain today. The Flinders Ranges stretches from Jamestown and Port Pirie in the south to Mount Hopeless in the north. The destination was the old railway town of Corn via the scenic route, firstly down through Horrocks Pass and then up through the Pitchy Ritchie Pass. As well as sporting many pubs, Corn is the home of the Pitchy Ritchie Railway. This, in fact, is the last remaining operating section of the old Gann Railway built in the 1870s. After the main line north was diverted along the western side of the plains from Port Augusta to Parachilna, the railway depot at Corn was closed in 1956. In 1973, the Pitchy Ritchie Railway Preservation Society was formed and now a regular tourist service runs between Corn and Port Augusta. Afghan Express outside is uh, a collection of restored former GAN carriages of about 1920 vintage and where possible we like to have the NM25 which was an original GAN locomotive haul them. A town that was built because of the railway in 1878, the first train hit here in 1879 and of course corn grew with the railway and it reached its peak probably in the Second World War when we had a, a workforce of approaching 500 working down at the workshops. Probably the busiest railway day here was in the Second World War. 43 trains came through here in one day. Some of the group took a tour through the railway's workshop, which houses a large collection of historic narrow gauge rolling stock. Corn was the main rail junction for the east-west traffic to Perth and north-south traffic to Alice Springs. It reached its pinnacle during World War II when thousands of troops and tons of equipment were shipped north via the town. 